Let us turn in prayer. Christ came speaking words of peace and understanding. Thank you for strengthening our faith and empowering us to live with hope and trust in you day by day. We are grateful that you give us courage to face our fears and struggles, patience to endure moments when the way ahead is not clear, and resilience in the face of new realities. Loving God, we pray for the many places of brokenness in our world. We think especially of those suffering in the COVID-19 outbreak, those with the disease, those who have lost loved ones, those working hard to respond to the pandemic, and those who have lost work or lost hope. In these moments of quiet, we name the situations on our hearts today, all those places in need of your restoration. Let us pause in a silent prayer for a few moments. We ask that the whole earth will experience your gift of new life and hope. We pray for those who struggle with their experience of the church. Open them to your love and grace so that any pain that the church has caused will be healed. Guide us with, the, with your spirit of wisdom to know how to live out our faith in ways that create pathways for others to find you, not barriers. We pray for this congregation and the United Church of Canada and for the Church of Jesus Christ in every country and culture. In these days of unexpected challenge, when worship and fellowship have been disrupted, strengthen our trust in you and our concern for others. Make us good stewards of time apart to reflect on your presence with your people in circumstances of deep challenge. Help us maintain the joy that we know in the risen Christ. We also pray for ourselves, for our families and friends, our neighbors and our community. We pray before you in silence all of the people and concerns in our hearts and minds today. Let us pray in silence for a few moments. We are grateful that we can place our worries and our hopes into your hands, O oh God, knowing that you will hear us and respond. And hear us now as we offer the words of our risen Lord, the words he taught us to say. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Our next hymn will be, You Tell Me That the Lord is Risen. 